Okay everybody, welcome back to another scenario I fixed setup on weekend the oh 9 14 2013 here meanwhile on Saturday uh, afternoon uh, welcome back to another FX setup uh, <laughs> yes okay uh, I want to give you my opinion uh, and my thoughts about the Dow Jones uh, industrial average and gold so analyze the stuff again guys it's still yours okay here we are here we go uh, before we started here I want to give you an here on uh, uh, even uh, what how to say I want to show you here the uh, the uh, relationship between even between the Dow Jones industrial average index and the gold price okay okay here we are here we go with the Dow Jones here we see the development since October last year the lows in October 2012 and then uh, this uh, race to the top high we had in July August we created higher lows than in June so uh, it seems like that we go until the end of the year to new highs in Dow Jones here are the main upside trend here are the second one if you want lows in October first high in April then lows in May high high uh, new new old all-time high even in July then lows in August and it seems like September or October we will have new highs in the Dow Jones interesting point here gold poorly asymmetric here we saw raise from October even to now in Dow Jones future uh, Dow, Dow Jones here in Excel US dollar here we see from October to now lower prices here maybe the the high in September and the lows here in June so and the first trend the second trend here September 2012 then March 2013 then April 2013 the highs and the lows in June and the highs in August and meanwhile uh, it seems like way uh, way down into new lows uh, until the end of the year in gold and the interesting point is following stuff guys look at this here if we create here paint both above here we see it much better here we see the high and the low okay on the daily time frame here once again here so here the lows in gold even highs but I want to say I would say also here even the same with the S&P and the and the silver for example I would say here uh, I would say I wouldn't say uh, lower commodities I thinking the market or the market part part participants I much more prefer the equity side high risk so and uh, sell out their their uh, how do you say their yeah com commodities even gold and silver so another commodities I don't have an uh, overview right here right now but here in gold or uh, it's very uh, it's yeah very how do you say very evidently here this year so it wasn't so asymmetric in the last years like this year so maybe that's also an big signal for this coloration however uh, if but uh, what I also find out is this stuff guys look at this if we go a uh, time frame a little bit lower sometimes useful to uh, to change the time frames usually uh, use only one time frame but sometimes you see more if you go lower or higher sometimes not however but in this time I find a very interesting coloration here once again daily clear clear coloration higher 
Dow Jones lower gold price. But here, look at this, guys. Here, if we see the fourth hour time frame, we saw here in, we saw here also slightly lower prices, also slightly higher prices, but not so directly even like here, here, before February. Here before we saw also, also here a clearer picture, higher Dow Jones, lower gold price. But here, since here happened something, and we saw here this year as the gold price just crashes, crashed here down in April. So here, here we see it crashed down and then we've, we didn't uh, got here this uh, clear coloration, higher Dow Jones, lower gold here in this year. And the interesting point is here in August, so if you want throughout the summer here, as this happened in April, start of April and March, April, March, May, June, July, August, if you want this five, the last five uh, months, months we've, we didn't get here uh, so, so clear asymmetric development, even go long in the Dow Jones and short gold price. So, uh, and here we see we've got here in the uh, even in the Dow Jones the highs in f uh, August, start of August, 5th August, here, and the lows we've got here in June. So, uh, here in June. And if we put here this trends together after this crash, the first crash here in the, uh, in the gold price. Lower prices as gold falls from 500, 1500 to 1400, uh, 1400 yards. Here we saw here upside trend in the Dow Jones, also upside trend. Then lower prices in gold also, also here, out here, even like an uh, something like an yeah parallel and high coloration. Yes, here, here this last five months. Here we saw high, high Dow Jones, high gold. Lower Dow Jones, lower gold. High Dow Jones, high gold. Lower Dow Jones, lower gold. High Dow Jones to new highs, also higher, higher gold even into August. And since August, in the last two, three weeks, here, back, maybe, maybe here, this last five months imploded here, imploded this uh, high coloration and we fall here back into even higher, higher, Dow Jones and lower, lower, uh, lower, how do you say, lower, uh, lower uh, commodities, even gold in this stuff. Yes. So that's the big scenario from my side for you until the end of the year. So what to do if you ask me until the end of the year, I would prefer to go long in the equities. Yes, you can go short in the gold, uh, but I wouldn't go, or let me explain it so, but this way I wouldn't explain say go sh short gold, but I, I wouldn't buy gold. So yes, I wouldn't prefer to go long in the equities, even in the Dow Jones. And uh, yes, find another, uh, another, another, how do you say, yeah, another trading capability. So, okay. Uh, yes, that's all for today, guys. Uh, and I wish you a good trading week. Have a. I will talk to you, talking, uh, talking, tweeting. If you day by day while Wall Street session this week, so analyze the stuff again, guys. It's still yours. One in one, uh, all in all, once again, I would prefer the long side in the Dow Jones. Industrial index, I wouldn't, uh, if you ask me long or short, okay, I would go short, but I, uh, yes, I would go to let it be on the left side. However, analyze this stuff again, guys, it's still yours. Have a great morning, day or night, wherever and whenever you're watching my scenario, FX setups. Bye bye, guys.